High frequency trading is a fully automated trading system. So computers are exiting all the trades with the hope to gain small profits many times during the day. Each was introduced by the Australian Securities Exchange in April 2012. Now the introduction of each was basically a new data feed for people to get messages to and from the exchange quicker. ASX claimed it was up to seven times faster. We find that after the introduction of itch, the trading costs of non-HFT traders, such as your institutions and your retail investors, increases more than that of HFT traders. High frequency traders got faster, and as a result, their strategies got even better. Now, if we think of trading as a zero-sum game, it means high frequency traders are making money, it must be at someone else's expense. And of course, that was all the other slow traders. When we take a closer look at HFT trading strategies, we find that they're more efficient at front-running the non-HFT order flow after the introduction of this faster data feed. They're more successful at jumping ahead of non-HFT orders, which means that non-HFTs are unable to fill their orders at the desired price. Imagine if you were to go out and buy some shares. If you were to buy a large amount of shares, you might start pushing the price up, which obviously you don't want to do, you want to buy it as cheap as possible. Now, if a high-frequency trader knew you were about to buy shares, they could buy ahead of you. Once you start pushing the price back, they could sell them back to you at a higher price. So, essentially, you're ending up having to pay more for your execution. The big concern of this sort of predatory um, trading is if there's this unfair playing field because one person has a speed advantage and one person doesn't, the person with the speed advantage can prey on consistently. They can now automate it and they can systematically prey on someone day after day after day after day. Some exchanges have introduced message taxes and others are contemplating minimum resting times for orders. So both of these initiatives are going to curb HFT activity. Some high frequency traders may actually be beneficial to market quality. So things like cross market arbitrage, things like market makers might be beneficial. So if regulators come in and try to cancel or ban high frequency trading, the external effect might be that some of these more beneficial strategies also get eradicated and the market quality goes down. Hopefully our research helps aid the removal of toxic order flow. And the way that that could happen is by us highlighting to the market participants how they're being preyed on, they can now put up some sort of defense mechanism. The market is constantly evolving and if we can start showing people how they're getting attacked, perhaps they can have better defense mechanisms. If you think of it like a cat and mouse game, we're essentially telling the mouse where they might next get attacked from.